Okay, good afternoon. This is Dr. Famuyiwa from Montgomery Fertility Center. So yesterday we talked about hyperthyroidism and how it can cause male infertility. Well, hypothyroidism, the opposite, can also do the same. Now, for you to understand how it works, think of it as the cells that actually control the thyroid originate from the brain. When the thyroid is not secreting enough thyroid hormone, there is a, a positive feedback loop to the brain that causes that hormone that's responsible for the thyroid, causes that to um, secrete in excess. The problem with excess secretion of that hormone, by the way, it's called thyrotropin releasing hormone, is that it also stimulates cells that control prolactin. It stimulates what is called the lactotroph cells. They're neighbors. They're in the same neighborhood. So you have that domino effect of excess thyrotropin stimulating the lactotrophs. Well, when you stimulate the lactotrophs, what happens is they result in excess prolactin. The problem with the excess prolactin is it also has another domino effect on its neighboring cells. It suppresses its neighbor. The thing is its neighbor, the gonadotropes, are responsible for producing FSH and LH that stimulate the gonads, the testes, the ovaries. So domino effect coming from not enough thyroid to the thyrotropin releasing hormone, domino effect to the lactotropes producing excess prolactin, domino effect to the gonadotropes shutting them down. All right, so in the month of November, please check your thyroid gland if you're having problems with fertility. Again, this is Dr. Famuyiwa with Montgomery Fertility Center.